What is going on, dudes? My name is Lord of 13 I'm your coach of your Kansas City New two, Kings. One. Today we have a week three match against Sharp Sharp Dress Gaming and his Minnesota Wild Charge. Make sure you want to pick up a t-shirt and support your Kansas City Needle Kings. Link's always in the description. Anyways, as you see the team that we brought here, check out the team builder that will that uh, was up an hour ago. If you want to check that out. And um yeah, we can see the team that he brought. So I did prepare for that Caesar. The Caesar is not that big of a deal. The Armaldo might be a little bit of trouble, just a little bit, but I think Pinsir can handle that if I get Pinsir in set up on this thing. Um, really, it looks like Pinsir's a really good start to set up because um, the only thing that he would have uh, brought on the team that's Choice Scarf would have to be that Hydreigon. So I think, I mean, he could also go um, Mammoth Swine, but I'm not, I think that maybe a quick attack from it would kill. But the safest option all around is to really go for Mirror B. So we're gonna lead out with Mirror B. Looks like he's taking a little while. Oh, alright. Let's move Twitter over here. Sorry about that. I wanted to open a damage calcs. Uh damage calculator. Alright. So I know exactly what this thing is. He's gonna set up his rocks. Now the question is, what he expects me to do? If, does he expect me to have the Stone Edge? Because I'm running Outrage over Stone Edge today. So, because the Hydreigon, I suppose. Anyway, um, I'm really debating on what I could do. I could go for Mega Horn, hit him really hard. Earthquake could also hit him really hard, but Bug, Mega Horn is a higher base power. Um, I could also switch uh, predicting those um, rocks. I mean, the rocks don't really hurt anyone but Ravager. So... To be honest, it really might be a good idea to get uh, Ravager in now, because Ra Ravager has close combat. I need to get Ravager in. I cannot ri I cannot take damage from the Stealth Rocks. Yeah, good. Okay, I was afraid he'd actually predict that. So we're going to Mega Evolve, and close combat hits everything fairly decently, but I outspeed everything on this team. Nothing outspeeds me. I'm pretty sure about that. I'm actually going to look up uh, Gardevoir. Look up Mega, how fast Mega Gardevoir is, because I know nothing else on the team except for the Hydreigon it has to be Choice Scarf. That's the only way to outspeed me. So, uh, Mega Gardevoir is base 100, so I do outspeed. I'm pretty sure I outspeed literally everything on his team. Now, Stone Edge is the safer play to go for anything here. So, we're going to go for Stone Edge. Okay, I'm actually surprised. That was a really nice play on his part. That was a really good play on his part. Okay. That was also a pretty dumb play on my part. If I make dumb plays today, I'm sorry, everybody. Um, today's been a long and tiring day. So, <sighs> we ha we're having this battle at 1030 at night. I wish we could have had it earlier, but I couldn't do anything about that. Okay. So, thinking about it, my voice is cracking all over the place, dude. All right. Well... It sucks that I got rid of my Mega Pinsir so quickly, because Mega Pinsir would have been real helpful. So, no, I don't really know what he's expecting. So, um, let's think of the options. So, Ice Fang would hit the, uh, would hit this thing, the Hydreigon, and the Braviar for super effective damage. Thunder Fang would not affect the, uh, the Mammoth Swine. And then the Iron Head would hit pretty much everything on his team for decent damage. So I think we'll probably run Iron... I want to go for Iron Head. Might as well. I want to have fun in these matches. I'm not sure. I always feel like I'm going to regret bringing the Pokemon that I do. That I didn't set up correctly against him. I do feel like I prepped accordingly for this guy's team. I think that... Oh man, he survived it. Hillary, good thing you have good defenses, right? Okay. So... Now he sees I carry the Iron Head, so he may just stay in and sack off his, um, his Armaldo. Iron Head's still the safer play in this sitch, sitch, so I really hope he just sacks off the Armaldo. Nope. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okie doke. Knew he was gonna do it, I just didn't want to go for it. Okay, so, I don't really know what I want to do here. I mean, I don't know if Hillary's even worth keeping around at this point. That's my only problem. I just need to keep as many as possible. Now, this thing can't do much to um, Mirror B, I don't think. 
I think Mirror B will be able to live whatever it really wants to throw. Now, I'm kind of scared of, like, Swords Dance or whatever. I'm gonna go for Dragon Tail. Superpower. Okay. Life Orb. I've never seen a Life Orb Caesar. This is not looking to be a good match for us. So. Um. I think we go Yuxi. Because yuxi has got Fire Punch. I bet he thinks he'll be just fine against this thing. Maybe setting up my own rocks or something. Um, I'm gonna go for Fire Punch right now. See if he stays in and wants to predict it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Get wrecked, bud. <laughs> I knew. Oh, man, that's sweet. That's just sweet to wreck that Caesar. Alright, so the Caesar was a huge threat to our team. Alright. You, you probably think I'm banded, don't you? I can live in attack. You, can, you can't kill me one hit. So, um, I'm really debating. Do I want to um, swap out and take the obviously incoming Dark Pulse? Or, because I think Mirror B could probably take that fairly decently with the 227 special defense and the, how many, how, what is your like HP stat? I need to check because it doesn't let me check here. So you have uh, 393 HP. What about compared to Yuxi in this? Yeah, you do have more than Yuxi. So I may end up, um, you know what? I don't know. Do I want to par- I may paralyze this thing. I'm gonna do that. I outspeed it? Draco. Huh. Okay. I just wanted you paralyzed because that very much helps me. Now, I'm free to ice punch whatever I want. Nothing on his team wants to take an ice punch. The Mammoth Swine will take a little bit, some from it at least. Um, but he definitely doesn't want to send it in knowing that I have, uh, yep. So there is that. Again, he probably expected me to predict the switch. So now, he can hit me. How would, how much would an icicle crash do? I'm gonna look that up. So we're gonna look up Yuxi. And we're gonna go blank set because I, I'm running a really random set. So we're gonna do fire punch because that will be the move that I run on it. Um, punch. Yep, we're gonna put fire punch, and then I don't remember what your EVs are. Ooh, I don't know. I really, I'm, I'm really confused as to what kind of thing this is. So, I'm, I'm 90% sure Icicle Crash will not kill me. Yes. Burn. Oh, I was hoping I pick up the burn. Okay. So, I really want to say Brainchild actually. Um. Let's see, if he's going to go for Ice School Crash again, I'm probably going to U-turn out. Yeah. What? Is How much did he do the first time? Uh, 30... <sighs> rolls, man, the rolls. Okay, so, I don't think that... Actually, I don't remember my sets. I really don't remember my sets. Well, no, you don't outspeed it because you're... A freaking bulky mother trucker. We're just gonna go into Mirror B because Mirror B is the best, best one to always go in. Um, so I'm thinking I'm probably just gonna go for Head Charge because Reckless Bandage Charge. Ah! I want to see what is a typical move set that um a typical EV spread. So they typically yeah invest in speed. So uh either Life Orb or the other one. So. It would outspeed me by a long shot. Ooh, okay. Well, goodbye. That's fine. We'll just take you down. That's that's all right with me. Not bad. Nothing wants to take this. Really, nothing wants to take a head charge. I think almost. I think pretty much Bouffant sweeps. Oh my God! I swear. I'm not gonna sweep, but I'm gonna serve. Yes, Bouffant. Oh, Mirror B. That is how you do it. Okay. This is how we do it. Ba -da -ba 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 -da -da. Okay, so now both of these Pokemon are assault vested. So both of these Pokemon are prepared to handle the Gardevoir and the other thing. But what I'm trying to de <sighs> debate is can we outspeed this thing? He could be running a bulkier set. And somehow Princess is faster. That doesn't even make any sense. I don't think I put any speed investment in him. I have to go for Princess. I have to go for Princess. Princess is my only hope in this situation. 
because otherwise we might just lose. If I hit cross chop, this thing is dead. Fire punch. Oh my goodness. Come on. Damn. And that's probably where we lose, isn't it? Let's just go for Giga Drain and see what happens. Ross Bhutan could come in clutch or... I don't know, because Ice Shard's gonna do a lot of damage. So all he has to do is just use Ice Shard. <sighs> Fucking hell. Well, I wasn't ready. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not in the, I wasn't in the mindset to battle, so. Thank you all so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did like, always appreciate it. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll talk to you all later.